In the world of trading, it's crucial to know when to hold back and not place a trade. Knowing when to and when not to trade can actually mean the difference between making money or losing money in the markets. In this video, we explore three essential reasons why refraining from taking a trade can be a smart decision. Whether you're a beginner or a seasoned pro, these insights will help you make more informed trading choices. Don't miss out on potential gains by rushing into the market without considering these factors. Remember to watch the entire video. We also have several videos on the channel that we know you will surely enjoy. So watch them after watching this video. For everything else, free Forex courses, free Forex robots, free indicators and the broker that I use personally, see the links in the description box below. Today, we're diving into a topic that's often overlooked, when not to take a trade. Stay tuned as we uncover the three key reasons why holding off on a trade might just be your best move. Whether you're new to trading or a seasoned pro, these insights are essential for making smarter trading decisions. Let's get started. When not to take a trade. Reason 1. The market does not suit your trading strategy. Picture this. You spent hours analyzing charts, eagerly waiting for the perfect setup to come along. But what if the market doesn't align with your trading strategy? Every strategy comes with its own set of requirements, and it's crucial to stick to them. If your strategy is tailored for uptrends, but the market is moving sideways, it's a clear sign that the conditions aren't right. Remember, patience is a virtue in trading. Resist the temptation to jump into trades that don't meet your trading criteria. Waiting for the right conditions might take time, but rushing into the wrong trade could cost you dearly. So next time you're tempted, take a step back and ask yourself, does this trade align with my trading strategy? Reason 2. You are bored. We've all been there. The excitement of trading can sometimes feel irresistible. But trading out of boredom is a recipe for disaster. If you find yourself feeling restless and eager to enter a trade, pause for a moment. Trading should always be driven by strategy, not boredom. Stick to your plan. And remember, impulsive trades can lead to unnecessary losses. Instead of letting boredom guide your trades, focus on enhancing your strategy during downtime. Educate yourself, analyze market trends, and refine your approach. The more you learn, the more confident you'll become in your trading decisions. Reason 3. You have just lost some trades. Ah, the infamous chasing losses scenario. We've all heard stories of traders or gamblers spiraling into debt because they couldn't accept a loss. It's important to break free from this cycle. If you've experienced a series of losses, it's a sign that something needs adjustment. Chasing losses by increasing trade sizes can lead to even greater losses. This strategy, known as the Martingale strategy, rarely ends well. Instead, take a step back. Analyze your recent trades, identify the weaknesses, and work on improving your strategy. Remember, trading isn't about making up for losses overnight. It's about making informed decisions that lead to long-term success. So, resist the urge to chase losses, and instead, focus on continuous improvement. And there you have it, three key reasons for not taking a trade. Whether the market conditions aren't right, you're battling boredom, or you're tempted to chase losses, remember that smart trading is all about strategy, patience, and discipline. Make sure to hit that like button if you found this video helpful. And don't forget to subscribe for more insightful trading tips. Until next time, happy trading.